best for the neighborhood. Make it 20. This should be interesting because it's in the rain. An autopilot doesn't do well in the rain. This is version 10.69.25. I received it this morning. It is 12.22.2022. Always prepared. It's clear. Oh, you should have gone. Should have gone. I had to put my foot on the accelerator, and maybe because it was raining, I don't know. But it should have gone. self-driving may be degraded or weather detected. little slow in the takeoff there. I don't know why. I guess because there were still vehicles coming this way and moving. Uh, I don't know. Sure didn't know what to do with this car coming out of that intersection there. It just went around in a little horseshoe drive and it was the second car to come out of there and following that car there. I'm actually going to uh, take over here because there, there is a person behind me and they're following those people and they're up my butt. So I'm going to let it continue driving now. So... Perfect.
coming up on an intersection that no version of full self drive beta has ever been able to accomplish to go to the airport, which is off of this weird intersection. We instead are going basically straight, however you can't get there by going straight. We're going to see how well or how poorly this uh, handles this, because it is a screwed up intersection, and on top of that, it does, this does, version does not know how to handle any part of this intersection ever. Uh, it's horrible at this intersection. But humans are horrible at this intersection, but not as bad as this. do this because it needed to go that way and we would have to cut that person off so we're gonna have to go around and try this again yep no version yep if it does not make it this time and I'm able to take over, I will take over and uh, proceed, but it's a shame. And I know poor weather is detected and it can use that as, in, as an excuse, but it does some pretty awkward things. As you notice, it keeps putting on the turn signal over and over and on, off, on, off. It can't make up its mind what to do. can't move. Fortunately, those cars are actually going that way, so it should have an opening to get over and get in the proper lane, but I don't think it will, in fact, do that. And yeah. It is a screwy intersection. But it, to get to there, it should never try to get in this lane, and it does. Okay. Okay, I'm putting my foot on the accelerator a little bit here. Oh, it got in the right lane. And that car is in the way. I'm going to go around this car. The car couldn't have done that, and it would have blocked traffic for everyone, so. Actually, I was impressed that by tapping the accelerator and giving the insurance assurance, it would have proceeded and got, and made the right lane choice.
don't know what that hard break was other than it always wants to try to keep a minimum of two car lengths or more depending on your speed and um, could have been Now it would be fine if we stayed in this lane here too, um, and because we actually want to be in that lane over there, and it makes poor lane choices sometimes, because this would be the logical lane to stay in. Fortunately there's no other traffic, I'm not impeding the flow, but we'll see what lane it chooses when the light changes. Now there is traffic coming. That traffic turned into the right, I believe. Okay, it made the right lane choice, although of course it wants always wants you to apply a little bit of pressure while it's turning the wheel. And if so, you wind up putting too much tension and disengaging autopilot. I'm actually going to disengage here and I'm going to pull into this parking lot because this is where I am going. Although I'm going to go to the other side uh, to meet my friend. And uh, thank you for watching.